This is Arvette McLean and Diana Wright of Speak, The Universe Listens. We love inspiring and providing the tools needed to be your best selves, to live your best lives, and to easily create abundance in your relationships, finances, and health. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to our very first video podcast of Speak, The Universe Listens. So happy new year and in this new year we're doing it a new way yes and our topic for today is how to broadcast your desires to the universe oh, i like that so Yvette, how do you broadcast your desires to the universe how would you go about doing that okay so actually that's what we do every day in every way we're always broadcasting something to the universe so what we want to make sure that we're doing is that we're broadcasting what we want to the universe and not what we don't want. And so we um, typically are always thinking about the things that we don't want. But we want to make sure that we're broadcasting what we do want. And so that's what we want to talk about a little bit about today, um, which we always talk about that topic. But today I want to really focus in on making sure that we have the steps necessary. And I want us to actually write some stuff down. I want the viewers to write some things down. So go ahead and start collecting your paper and um, pen. Okay. But you know, this is my first time seeing you this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Diana actually sent me a text saying that she has so many great plans for this upcoming year. And so I thought it would be a great idea to do this topic right now because a lot of people have new plans for the new year. So this would be a great opportunity to really get clear on what those plans are and to really have them written down so that we can know where to go from here. Yes, this is the perfect opportunity. We all have goals that you know we want to do. Everybody talks about their resolution, so this is perfect. Mm -hmm. And you know, with any goal, there's always at least two ways to get them I always say there's the easy way and there's the hard way and we're used to doing things the hard way um, and you can not get them doing them the hard way so you can get the house that you want but it might take you a huge down payment and 30 years to pay it off or you can get the job that you want but it might take you putting in 25 30 100 resumes mm -hmm. and then going through interviews in order to get the job or you can broadcast what you want to the universe and let those things come to you. That sounds easier. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually would like for you to pull out some paper, Diana. I might, um, I might do it along with everyone. Um, but yeah, so what the idea would be to really, first of all, think about, let's just start with one, we're going to start with one goal or one desire, okay. right? So just choose whatever that one desire would be. Everybody take some time to do that. Um, and just hold that in your mind for a second, what that one desire would be. And then think of a symbol that would represent that one desire. So it could simply be a letter. Let's say if you're wanting to create a new job, then it could be the letter J. Okay. You know, or um, let's say if you want to, I don't know, move out of your mother's house, <laughs> then maybe that could be um, the symbol, maybe freedom, perhaps, mm -hmm. and maybe that could be eagle wings. So you can kind of be creative about what you want to use as your symbol, but it could be as simple as freedom, a F, right. okay. or, you know, um, yes. if it's health, it could be H, but just come up with a symbol. So everybody do that. Okay. Um, write down whatever your symbol is. And so if you can share with us what your goal is, then. Well, I don't know if you was reading my mind, but my uh, symbol, my goal is freedom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... So, but what is your goal? Um, for freedom is in breaking it down um, a little bit more is freedom from debt. Freedom to be able to move forward in... Um, my um, desires to travel, um, the freedom in the sense of um, unlocking a lot of the gifts that I know I have, but I've put myself pretty much in bondage because of fear 
and not stepping out there. So freedom from my own self, if that makes any mm -hmm. sense. And that makes perfect sense. Um, I actually want you to start smaller. Okay. Um, because you actually named several goals. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like for you to choose one. Okay, so I'll choose freedom from debt. Or is that? So you want to be abundant? Yes. Okay, so instead of freedom, I might put abundant. Okay. Yeah. So I'm choosing A. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hopefully everyone has their thing written down and people in the studio are participating as well. <laughs> um, and so actually right around your A, she has A, whatever letter you put, go ahead and put like, draw like an energy field around it. Draw two squiggly lines. And I'm actually borrowing very heavily from um, Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. Um, so this is how he instructs teams to do this. Um, so we go ahead and put a, a squiggly line around your A. Um, put two, just to represent the energy field. Okay. Two? Mm -hmm, two squiggly lines. Okay. Now, so your A represents abundance. So whatever your letter is, go ahead and write down what that would mean to you. So abundance. What, how do you know you're abundant? What does that feel like? What does that look like, I should say? Okay. And you can say it out loud. Okay, free from debt. Okay, abundance in wealth in uh, finances. Abundant and if it makes any sense, spirituality. Um, just really feeling and bringing, you know, um, the spirit forward for myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you had those three things, mm -hmm. then you would know you were abundant. Yes. Okay. So anytime you think of abundant then those are the three things that you need to think of okay and i actually did i did one as well i did one for healing and mine specifically is um to heal my knee and so mine would be that i have new cartilage growth in my knee um that i'm able to move with ease that i can run marathons and that i can do my favorite activity <laughs> exercise activity which is my seal team and also when i heal my knee then i will teach others how to heal their body as well so those would be the things that represent my age okay so everybody's kind of keep in mind what does your letter or your symbol what does that mean to you okay now on another column write down what would you feel when you are that when you are abundant how would you feel when you have that job how would you feel when you have that new home how would you feel um, at peace more at peace mm -hmm. um, and feeling that i mean i'm already just you know, putting myself in that space mm -hmm. and fit, that would definitely be peace for me. And when I talked about the, the wealth, that's um, even, it's still coming out of bondage. It feels, you know, free, mm -hmm. like I'm soaring. And from a spiritual standpoint, I can do anything. I'm connected to everything. Um, the trees, the bird, everything that I see and that that I can't see with my eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So write that down. Maybe unlimited, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, maybe confidence, maybe strong, maybe um, renewed. Yeah, oh, I like that. Yeah. Renewed. And then, of course, gratitude. I would imagine most people would feel gratitude if and when they create the, the thing of their desire. So my um, feelings that I wrote down were unlimited. I would feel abundant, gratitude, I would feel connected, loved and loving um, when I am in perfect health.
And now I also want you to think about what activities would you see yourself doing? So when you're abundant, what are you now doing? So stopping to think about it, if I am now, like you said, abundant, where I am going back to my first bullet point of freedom from debt, then everything, all of my bills, everything that I owe or who I owe is paid off. Mm -hmm. um, that's already lined up, checked off um, my list as far as with wealth um, and abundance that not only am I am able to do whatever I desire, but I'm also helping others mm -hmm. the same. And that just is just a part of I think of who I am is to help others mm -hmm. reach that same that same place and that same feeling because mm -hmm. I want others to feel just as happy and as free as I am. And from a spirituality standpoint, um, of allowing people, not just myself, but knowing who I am. Mm -hmm. And not just knowing from the outside, but knowing my own heart and knowing um, my own energy and how important that I am in the universe as a whole. Mm -hmm. So write, write those things down um, and everybody just really take the time to think about how would you walk? Would you walk differently? Would you feel differently about yourself? What would your posture be? Um, how would you interact with the people around you? What activities would you be doing every day? When you, when you have a million dollars, how are you spending it? Are there charities that you're giving to? Are you buying a new car, fancy car? What, what are you doing? And really think about those steps. And for me, I say, when my knee is healed, I'll be telling everybody I healed my knee. <laughs> I'll be teaching people, I'll be running, I'll be doing SEAL team, um, I'll be doing speaking engagements, I'll be on Oprah, of course, um, I'll be on my jet plane, and my jet plane is so beautiful. And, um, yeah, so I won't tell you the last thing I wrote, but, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what, what mine looks like. Okay, so hopefully everyone has a list. Does everyone here have their done? Okay, Great. terrific. <laughs> so, how do you feel just by having this laid out? Well, I really think what it is is that when you have it laid out, it's it gives you more clarity. Mm -hmm. um, and talking about it, you know, as well, and really thinking about it, you have it listed out, and then you can see it. But it's more than that. Just writing it down, I can also feel it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm concentrating on this right now. You know, um, and I think that's the biggest piece of it because all of my energy and my focus right now is on this. Mm -hmm. And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, other thoughts are coming to me and it's just so, as we did the squiggly lines that, like an energy feel, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you can too. <laughs> okay, well perfect. So what we're gonna do now is, I don't know how much we're gonna do it, but what you wanna do from this point is actually step back, be quiet, mm -hmm. and then start broadcasting this into the universe. Whatever vibration you have, it's going to find a match. It's match is going to be drawn back to you. So if you can get on the same vibration as whatever it is you desire, then it's going to be pulled to you. Mm -hmm. And so this is when you have your quiet time, um, your meditation. And you just take the time and you broadcast that letter. So if your letter is A, then you're just going to think about that A because when you think about that A, you already know what that means, mm -hmm. right? So you're thinking about that and then you're going to work your body up into the feelings that you have listed. As a matter of fact, let's take some time and do that right now. So whatever feelings, we're just working on our feelings, right? So the listed feelings, just take some time and go through your list. So for example, if I feel mine is unlimited, then what would unlimited feel like in your body? Mm -hmm. You know, um, freedom. What does that feel like in your body? Just work those feelings up. So just take some time and do that right now.
How does it feel to be empowered? How does it feel to be a leader? How does it feel to be loved and loving? How does it feel to be abundant? Make sure you radiate that energy of gratitude because gratitude implies that it has already been done. And I'm looking around to see if I believe the people around me are feeling their feelings. If they're smiling, then I know that they're feeling their feelings. <laughs> okay, so this is what you want to do. So when you go into your state of meditation and you're starting to broadcast exactly what you want, you're going to broadcast that A or whatever your symbol is into the universe. You already know what it means. You're going to elevate your emotion. It's, it needs to be high. It needs to be powerful, powerfully paired. You need to be on that same vibrational frequency as whatever it is you want. And then you're going to just see yourself doing all the things that you've listed. See yourself sharing with others. And see yourself saying, yes, this deal is done. done. <laughs> See yourself doing all the things that you listed. So for me, I'm seeing myself running. I'm seeing myself up on the podium getting my medals for winning in my age group marathons and other races. I'm seeing myself the SEAL team carrying people and running up hills with people. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm seeing myself teaching. I'm seeing myself uh, really sharing with others. This is what you want to do. So this is how you broadcast exactly what you want out into the universe. It's a great, um, it's a great feeling um, because as I quiet myself and quiet my spirit, you know, the the thing that came to mind to me was an eagle song. And but going higher and higher and then swooping down and just going in every direction that I want to go in, but that represents that freedom for me. Um, and that exhilarating feeling, um, is to, it feels great. And then the, the sharing part of just knowing that if I can do it, and I did it, you know, that so can you. And so then you want to spend your time in this space as often as possible. Um, definitely every day, but think about how much more in tune you would be if you can just, maybe you're driving and you're at a stoplight and then you can just broadcast that H or that A or whatever your letter is, just broadcast it and just work those feelings up and see yourself. Just practice every day what it is that you're doing. And, um, you know, a lot of times when I'm asking myself, okay, what would I be doing? And I'm thinking about that. So then I'm like, well, why am I not doing that right now? <laughs> you know, and so one of the things um, that I had said, I would, I would teach people, right? And so although I haven't necessarily healed my knee yet, I feel like I already know how to do it. And so I said, well, why am I not doing that now? So I said, you know what, let me start writing it down. So I'm already starting to take the step because I've reviewed it so many times. And now I'm feeling like I'm on that vibration where I'm ready to start teaching, which means I'm ready to start running. <laughs> I'll be out there cheering you up. <laughs> Thank you. So at this point, this is one desire that we've written down. And I would suggest maybe doing two for right now um, and just work on those two. And what I found for myself is that they kind of, they actually link together. It's kind of like what when you pull one string, it's like you pull them all. But I would say just start on two. So do one, um, whatever that one that you've done, and then do an, write down another one just like this. 
do the same process. Make sure you work up those emotions. And then every day, at least once a day, but as many times a day as possible, put this energy out and start broadcasting to the universe the desire with the things that you want to happen in your life. So until next time, this is Arvette. This is Diana. Bye.